Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon 2019 or Pokemon Journeys the Series episode preview discussion. This time I'm talking about the preview for episode 39, so let's get to it. In episode 39, Ash and Go will travel to the Johto region. More specifically, they will travel to Sianwood City, to Sianwood Gym to be precise. Going by episode 34, it's likely that Ash is looking for worthy opponents to battle. At Siamwood City, Ash and Go will reunite with B, who is probably there to challenge the Siamwood Gym, since it is a gym that specializes in fighting type Pokemon. The three of them are shown eating sweets together, and B reveals her softer side, which is vastly different from the colder, more serious side she showed in episode 34. In the games, B does show her softer side after you defeat her, but in episode 39, it appears that she loosens up since she is not battling, she is simply eating sweets. Ash will challenge her to a rematch and the preview reveals that he is back in super class. In episode 36, Ash lost twice and he ended up dropping down to normal class. He did not battle anyone in episode 37 or episode 38, so he either increased his rank off screen or he will increase it at the start of episode 39. The rematch will take place at CM Wood Gym and Chuck, the gym leader himself, will be returning to the anime. The last time Chuck appeared in the anime was in a flashback during the early episodes of the Ruby and Sapphire series. It's nice to see more returning characters, and Chuck is the third fighting type gym leader to appear in Pokemon Journeys, after B herself and Karina. It's interesting that B will change her team for the rematch. She will still use her grab locked, but she will use Hitmontop instead of Halucha. Likewise, Ash will also change his team for the rematch. He will still use Riolu, but he will use Pikachu instead of Farfetch'd. This is unusual because usually, Ash will use the same Pokemon he lost with for the rematch. This allows his Pokemon to redeem themselves. It lets them overcome a challenge that they couldn't beat previously. It's for this reason that Ash will be using Riolu in the battle. But he won't be using Farfetch'd apparently, which means that Farfetch will remain defeated. It won't get to redeem itself. It's possible that Ash wants to use Pikachu so that he can improve his odds of winning since he doesn't want to lose again. Now Gengar would of course be a better selection for this battle since ghost types are immune to fighting type moves. And Gengar also knows Psychic, which fighting types are weak too. But, since this did not help Gengar when Ash battled Karina, I guess that Ash is not counting on Gengar's advantage. I am assuming that the rematch will be 2 on 2 as well, which is how all of the serious battles have been so far. So if Ash is using Riolu and Pikachu, then that's it. It is worth noting though that Dragonite and Farfetch'd are listed as appearing in this episode on Bulbapedia. Now this could mean that they will be seen at Sakuragi or Ceres Park before Ash and Go travel to Johto, but it could be that Ash will use at least one of them in the rematch. I do feel it's unlikely that the battle will be 3-on-3, three three, but who knows? Ash could use Farfetch'd after all, giving it a chance at revenge. Or he could have Farfetch'd watch the battle so that it can learn firsthand how to battle since Farfetch'd is still the one that needs the most training from Ash's new team. I doubt that Ash would use Dragonite because I feel that Dragonite would probably make quick work of B, especially when you consider the battle against Karina and the fact that Dragonite is a flying type Pokemon. If Dragonite carries the team here as well, then Riolu will have no chance to redeem itself, which is why I doubt Ash will use Dragonite. Though if he really wants to win, then he has a surefire way of doing so. Now the most important question is, will Ash win this time? Will he defeat B? I think that he will because Ash usually wins his rematches. In fact, he always wins his rematches against gym leaders. So I feel that he will win. Especially because I doubt he will lose to the same person twice in the span of 6 episodes. And he lost twice after losing to B for a total of 3 consecutive losses. Which dropped his rank significantly, even dropping him back down to normal class. For him to climb back up only to lose again would be too harsh. And in the preview, Ash says that he has a way to beat Grablock's Octolock. Assuming that the battle will indeed be 2 on 2, B will use her Hitmontop first while Ash will use Pikachu. The preview does show these two battling. Pikachu will win only to lose against Grablock. The preview does show that Grablock traps Pikachu, so it seems that Pikachu will indeed lose to Grablock. 
Though I feel that Pikachu would have an easier time breaking out of Octolock when compared to Riolu since he could use Thunderbolt to give Grablock the good shock. Riolu will then defeat Grablock, which would allow Riolu to get its payback for what happened in episode 34. So Ash wins after an intense battle. If the battle ends up not being 2 on 2, then it will of course play out quite differently, but again, I feel that it is unlikely that it will happen. The last thing to discuss is, will Riolu evolve? I believe that it was possible that Riolu could evolve in episode 34 when the episode was first revealed, because I felt that battling a powerful fighting type trainer would be the perfect time for Riolu to evolve, but as the episode got closer I realized that Ash would probably lose the battle, and thus Riolu would not evolve, and indeed it didn't. So could Riolu evolve in episode 39 since Ash will likely win this time around? I doubt it. The preview does not give any indication that Riolu will evolve, and the title of the episode does not indicate this either, so I feel that Riolu won't evolve. There's also the fact that Ash has a plan to overcome Octolock, going by the preview, so Riolu won't have to evolve to win, and it makes more sense for Riolu to overcome Grablock unevolved because it was defeated by Grablock while it was unevolved. Also, I'm still hoping that Riolu will evolve in an episode where Karina appears so that Ash can get Mega Lucario. I think that this has a high chance of happening. So, I think that Riolu will not evolve in this episode. But of course, we won't know for sure until the episode airs, and episode 39 will air on September 27. And notably, it will be the last episode to air on a Sunday. Starting with the next episode, episode 40, Pokemon Journeys episodes will air on Fridays instead. I will of course upload a review for episode 39 as soon as possible, so please look forward to it. But that's the video. As always, leave your own thoughts down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and would like to see more like it, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I love Pokemon and I love making videos on both the anime and the games. Also, please consider clicking the links on screen so that you can check out more videos like this right away. Thank you very much for watching and let's meet again in the next video.